Alright, welcome back to Dominions. So, let's see. I think we're ready to basically just end our turn. Let me check out where Fola is. Okay. Yep, let's go. Now, very high Dominion strength will grant your Pretender awe. Maybe somebody can clarify this for me, but I think... Oh, that's too bad we didn't find any sites with Fola. What I was going to say, I'll finish that statement, is I think the awe bless effect is... And maybe with the um, Pretender as well, is, uh, let's check it out, right? Uh, she doesn't have awe, right? But my Dominion Strength at the moment, because of all the, uh, because of all the, well, it's only six, isn't it? I was going to say, my Dominion Strength, because of all the temples I've built, is high enough for awe, but maybe not. Maybe you have to get up to like seven or eight. I can't quite remember. Well, I ought to check that out though. I think though, I have a suspicion that awe effects might be dependent upon how you configure your deity in the beginning. Not the same way with your bless effects. Like if I empower her with water, that's not gonna make her water bless effect stronger. It depend the bless effect is determined by the point you spend in the beginning, and I suspect it might be the same way with uh, awe. But anyway, it's just something I, I kind of want to find out eventually. Well, let's hop into it. So, where are we here? Oh man, am I going to sneeze? I hate that. Uh, you guys are over here doing your jabroni life. Put you up here. Okay, so we have an Astral 3. What's really important is we have an Astral 2, at least. But we have an Astral 2 or more uh, mage in all of these areas, which is what I want. And here as well... Do we have... Astral... Yes, here we are. Uh, this guy. So... You know, I, I'm kind of reluctant to be always starting wars with, like, just literally everyone. But, uh, on the other hand, why don't we win the game? So, okay, we're still sieging here. Let's check out the rest of our messages. Uh, un people have been disappearing, or perhaps they just ran away. Hmm. You know, I keep patrolling this damn province. I can't do anything else. I don't know what else to do. All right. Uh, the entrance has been breached. Good. And unit was cured of disease. That's good. And, uh, guys... Army set up. Okay, so you... Corix... want you to cast... Uh, where is it? Light of the North Star. You're gonna need some gems. However, so Ill Forest is going to transfer those to you, okay? And Ill Forest, your commands, oh, our are blank, okay. Um, let's see, can we, do we still have it saved? No, that's not the one I want. There we are. And... You guys are fine. Ah, you're the one. Okay, I'm gonna clear your orders. You can do whatever you feel is appropriate. Okay. And we will have a bunch of Stellar Cascades coming down. Hopefully that'll work. Alright guys. This is it. Storm their pathetic little castle. Their palisades. Oh man. I almost think I ought to go after Baratos next. They got the throne over here, so it's a possibility. Maybe I should do that rather than harassing Agartha. Um, I think I will. There's one more thing that was recommended, which is to check out uh, living statues. 
Let's see, let's... Yeah, we're already on our... Enliven statues. It's a... Uh, hammer 3. Okay, you can cast it. So let's give that a shot. We'll just do it the one time, just to see what they look like. Okay. And... What did we forge over here? Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, oh, good, yes, we're... We've got all kinds of good stuff now. We don't even need this many of our uh, Elder Druids. So, over here, I'll give you one. How about that? Okay, and then over here. Yeah, I really wish that by giving him the one weapon, it wouldn't remove his Javelin of Flight. But that's what it does. It's okay. It's not that I wouldn't eventually give him something. It's just that I want it to be significantly better, especially when there's other units I could give it to. I'm going to give you the uh, Javelin of... Fl or the uh, Herald Lance, I think. That does give him Inspirational 2, which means it's not the best... He's not the best fit for it. Uh, the best fit for it would definitely indeed be the person who's leading my armies, which is you. Alright, so that's good enough reason for me then. I'm gonna... Yeah, we're gonna lose the Javelin of Flight, which is too bad. But, uh, on the other hand, we're gonna gain... Wait, you didn't have Inspirational to begin with? Oh, I see. It's Inspirational plus one, of course. Yeah. There you go. That's fine. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do with that. I do believe I shall give you, because you have cold resistance anyway, and you'll just get more with the frost brand. I'm going to... It's only defense 2 is the thing, but the, the other issue is that, uh, well, see, I feel like I'm switching back from what it was. The only thing, though, is that he will actually probably get into combat a little bit more than she will, and certainly a little bit quicker. Actually, you know what? Let's even give him the shield for now. I just feel like he's the one that's going to be in more need of it. Okay. So yeah, lucky coin versus what did he have before? Just a regular shield. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, a hard call because now she's... Well, she'll be okay. Okay. It looks like somebody's pillaging over here. Okay. I am going to make the decision not to go after Agartha. We are going to go over here and take out Bertos. Okay. It's going to take us a little bit to backtrack, but so be it. Really? Yeah, let's just do it that way. I just don't like having Bertos there, frankly. And uh, over here... Let's recruit one Gatuar. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce their names. You may not end up with Astral, though. Honestly, it's probably the Druid that I ought to get. Ooh, a Sage. Hmm. That's who I should be getting, not these uh, Sequani. I should be getting Sages. We're going to get a Druid first, because he'll start with... He may even... St you pop out of the gate with uh, two astral. Okay. Now, up here. Right. Cast a ritual spell. Talistic animation. Okay, the mage crafts a statue and places a golden plate inscribed with divine names within its head. The statue is thus animated by divine power and will speak 
the will of the pretender god. The statue is imbued with great priestly powers, but is immobile. Interesting. Let's... I do want to try that out. Let's... I want to see what that looks like. That's an interesting concept. If it does something like profit and starts spreading my dominion, that would be very interesting. Okay, over here... We're doing our thing, I hope. Uh, you know what we need to do? We need to keep forging those uh, pearls. Probably not, probably not on auto forge or anything, but um, just get a bunch out this turn. <sighs> and you know, I'm tempted to imbue somebody with power with uh, fire. In fact, I'm tempted to do it just with my pretender. I mean, if I'm going to buff any of my mages, I think it would be her. Okay, we'll think about it. Actually, we can do it right now. Because she's got really good map move. Ah. Okay, I'm going to empower you. And I'm just going to do it with fire. And the rest of you are moving there. That's... no, dang it. Empower. Fire. You, however, let's just get you... No, I guess you can only move one. Hmm. They all can only move one. Okay, well... Hmm. Do we have roads here? No? Can somebody build roads for me? No. This is not a, uh... Yeah, because it's mountains, that's why. That is unfortunate. Okay. Cast Ritual Spell. Enliven Statues. And... Preach. Don't like... Don't like what's going on over here. My guys are such terrible troops, I swear. Okay, uh, research. There we go. Let's uh, let's take a look at my research again, too. Okay, yeah, we're going to evocation. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do as well, is cast a uh, certain spell that will allow me to heal afflictions. Okay, Azaze. Don't know who that is. Okay, there's a battle at Miklan. So who are these flaming effigies? Fiery Imp. I think they're summoning these guys, aren't they? They're very weak, but yeah. My magic resistance in their archers, basically. Fireball. Ow. <laughs> that wiped out some units. These guys are taking some heavy damage as well. They're surviving, thankfully, because they have such high hit points. But, uh... Fireball's a cool spell.
Mmm. Charm animal, huh? Ooh. Casting Soul Slaying Charm on my guys. Interesting problem. Acid Rain. Okay. Not a good thing for armor. Toad. Ow. Uh, these guys charmed. Can't tell. I don't think so. Ah, uh, let's see. There's a way to turn on the grid. How do you do that? Yeah, that'll tell me if they get charmed, I think. Because their their grid space should change color. Yeah, like look, this guy, this guy's been charmed. Unfortunately, that's why they're getting soul slayed. Is they he's been charming my boars and I've been killing them as a result. Got some nasty magic. Okay, that looks like that whiffed, which I have no problem with. Yeah, that boar there, even though the square is my color. I think this boar's been charmed and is against me now. Ow. Another fireball. That's not great. Hmm. Maybe I should invest in alteration and get some resist fire spells. I am going to be encountering Abyssia, so... Man, this is a long fight. Come on, guys. I'm not speeding it up, because I do want to see how these... I want to get a feeling for what spells are being used and how they're being used against me. about I think that's Holy Avenger that's hitting me perhaps if I, I don't know though did I kill one of their priests oh boy okay got through that jelly this fight's taken so long that even my elementals have caught up Breath of the Dragon is like, I like that spell. Hmm, I think they killed their own guy, maybe? Don't know. This is a costly battle. It seems to me. How are my squanny doing? Okay. They are all fatigued out. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, I freed some guys too. That you saw that jelly cube 
the gelatinous cube ate some guys, and then when it got, what was that, Soul Slay or something that did 999 damage, um, you saw the message they got freed, so... Yeah, I think the jelly cubes are a pretty scary unit, but they're kind of hard to uh, use effectively, in my experience. I like, I'm sure that there's a good way to use them. I'm just not certain how to do it myself. Because I mean, if you look at them, uh, they have well, this guy, yeah, that's really slow movement, you know. Yeah. Mm, man, hammering my poor dude over here. Come on, guys. All right. Now I think we can speed it up a little bit. I hope that wasn't too boring to watch, but... Are they on? You know, it's doing something. Man, those smites. Uh, so in my other playthrough, somebody was telling me that smite is a far more effective spell than, like, for example, cold bolt. And, uh, yeah, I believe it, because it doesn't take... If I, if I understand correctly, smite doesn't take any uh, fatigue. So you just do it constantly for basically an equivalent amount of damage. Alright. Killed my father. Prepare to die. Oh, my poor... Oh, that was... They charmed for that boar. I gotta watch out for that charm animal spell. That could, uh... That could wreck a certain... That could wreck the right person at the right time. I think I lost all of my boars too. And, yeah. And that spell was responsible for some of it. There comes the Holy Avenger. Wow, that was a, uh, oh, did we kill their god? Oh, awesome. Okay, well, we lost our Gatuatur. After the Doom Dog found a black steel helmet, Wolfful found a clam of pearls. That was probably. These are probably things that were. Yeah, that was. Um, a dragon helmet. Very cool. Uh, yeah, so that was what that uh, Gutuatur was wielding. Uh, we lost a Stargazer, that's okay. We. Gained an ice elemental? Yeah, it was a. This was a big ice elemental, and now we've gained a smaller one, I want to say. Yeah. And we lost our heavy cavalry. Lost our, lost our elementals, that's fine. Lost our one slinger. We lost all our javelineers. Didn't lose any of these guys, interesting. Uh, lost a bunch of noble warriors. Lost. All but two of our great boars, wow. But we eradicated them. Good. Uh, dang it, I keep forgetting. Like, I, I finish playing the game and then I log off and then I totally forget to look up the Red Well thing. An unexpected event has occurred in Solian, a magic site. A group of Hoburg men and women have settled in the area. Okay, well, we'll go to that. Mass Dimma moves in the shadows. His presence can now be felt in Solemn. Okay. Let's remember that. Right. The sinks. I'm starting to starve, huh? What? Okay. Let's go to Solom. Oh, that was Solian. Okay, let's check out Solian's magic site. 
Horticulturist, militia, and increases growth. Hmm. Um... Yeah, he's neat. But uh, not awesome. The Holbergs are just awful. Units, anyway. Like, it sucks when you get stuck with them as pretenders. Alright, show me Solom. Sorry, we're gonna just... Uh, take care of that real quick, and then we're gonna have to call it an episode. Solian. Might Marsh. Solom? Solom. I do not see a Solom on my list unless I missed it. Okay. Now you... Really? You can only move one? That is annoying. Hmm. Well, what did I have you do? Okay, there is our doohickey. Well, it's not Priest 3, which is kind of what I was hoping for, but... Um, Whatever. It exists now. It's an interesting, interesting spell to know about. Okay. Oh, I know what I did. I had, I empowered her. Okay. Now she can make all kinds of weird, wild stuff. Including the Golden Hoplon, which I think is great. Man, I think it's an awesome item. Flaming Helm. Fire Magic Bonus 1. And what else can we get? Brimstone Boots. Yeah, that's pretty good. Waste Survival. That's good. Alright, well, let's take a look down here at our guys that just took over Mictlan. Okay. So, what is this one? Fire resistance, morale, okay. You do not need to wear that. You, Doomdog, however, do. There we go. And next, let's give that helmet to Corrick. Alright, and then Corx. Uh, you do not need that. You can give that to Doomdog. Alright, Doomdog is thugging it up. How are you doing? Weekend, chest wound, okay. Uh, with my Pretender. What I want to do... is give... Where is it? Do Gift of Health. I want to do that right now. That gives my Dominion extra hit points, scroll more slowly, and heal permanent afflictions. That is what I want to do. Can I get to it? I can. It's going to burn up a lot of Astral Pearls. What's my magic resource income like? got a lot of astral pearls coming in as well as a lot of fire gems so I'm thinking let's get this on the road help me yeah let's just go for it 50 correct cast a ritual spell We are looking again, gift of health. Okay. And you guys. I 
Again, you guys shouldn't be starving. You're nowhere near using enough resources for that to be happening. Maybe it's because of these guys? Oh, I see, yeah. Our overflow units, I think, are getting moved into there. Um, let's move down. Here are the living statues. Slash resistant, pierce resistant. Very slow. High hit points, high protection, good defense. They'll allow me to enter the water, which is good. Yeah, that's very good. Uh, let's give them to the Elder Druid. Because they are so slow, put them up front. Okay. Give those boars to him as well. Alright, Elder Druid. Okay. Try and liven statues again. We're gonna need a water breathing apparatus at some point. Fun spell there, making a statue. Arcane probing. Yeah, that just reveals astral power. Um, okay, again, enliven statues, perhaps? Ah, oh, 20 earth gems, man, that is expensive. So, maybe I should have focused on casting that in the same province. Well, that's alright then. All right, we're just gonna hmm, research for now. Oh, goody. There you go. Okay, army set up. No, no. Actually, let's cast. Uh, stellar Cascades. Stellar Cascades. Keep casting Stellar Cascades. Okay. And which one was that? Two? No. Three. Okay. Control three. Three. Cast Light of the Northern Star. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. You did not get the two astral, which is what you needed. Um... Well then, yeah, so that's why we need a uh, more powerful mm, mage down here. And down here. Well then, I guess take a few astral pearls. And uh, this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to cast... What is it? No, sorry. Army setup. You're going to have to cast... Uh, where is it? Power of the Spheres. Then you're going to have to cast... Where is it? Light of the North Star. Okay, and you guys, man, is there a way to move this guy up? No, uh, well, I'm, I can't be arsed with it at the moment. Um, you're building a fortress, okay, good. You guys, This is where that statue spell actually could be quite handy. Cast a ritual spell. 
Telestic animation. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's see, and I see that you have... Knife of the Damned. Well, that's too bad that you picked that up. <laughs> um, because you can't unequip it. <laughs> so, yeah, good job. You're stuck with it now. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Hmm. Well. Preach. Patrol. Patrol. Research. Research. Preach. I think I'm going to have you guys preach. Let's get our dominion back. Back up and in here. Yeah, you're fine doing that. Alright, that's going to do it with him. Oh, and then you. Alright, you preach as well. And you. You also. No, you didn't? Hmm. Okay, well, you... Where else did I cast Enliven Statues? Only here? Hmm, okay. Well, since there's a water throne right here, this is where I'm going to actually have you cast Enliven Statues. Okay. Enliven Statues... And then up here, let's, uh, we got two boars of Carnut over here. Do we have, we only have the one here. Got another one moving down. I am going to have you go up here and grab those statues. Except you won't be able to lead them. Because you don't have magic leadership. Alright, well, never mind then. What we'll do is we'll have you take them down. Don't know the quickest way to get down there. One, two... Oh, he can make it all that way. Great. Let me set up. Oh, yeah. Wow, they got map move three. That's great. Wow, that's awesome, actually. Okay. Yes, very slow in combat, but map move three is great. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Is, uh... I'm sorry, I'm, I know I'm going way over time on one turn. Cast a ritual spell. 10 plus, so it depends on the earth power of the caster as well. If that is the case, who has my earth boots? You do. Take those, put them in the lab. And uh, how about you put those on? Now, I don't know at what point it's going to check the effective of, effectiveness of his earth level. Oh, and since I equipped him, it, that probably is why. Once you re-equip the item, the reason it probably cancels the ritual spell, so you have to catch it, cast it again so it recalculates whatever the plus bonus is going to be. Anyway, enliven statues. Alright, there we go. And, uh, Forge, I think, let's go ahead and get some more of these. Don't have enough? Well then, research, research, um, research. Oh, did you flee? Or something?
That's odd. No, no, I think you've just been walking around? I don't know. I do not know. Hmm. Well, rejoin your group. And yeah, over here we're done. Alright, that's going to do it. And that's going to do it for this episode. It took me a little bit, but uh, yeah. Hmm. She is the only one that's taken forever. But uh, we'll see. I mean, taking her it's going to take her forever to get back over here. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.